In the last video we looked at some of the concepts of book covers, what they do, what we want them to do, and in this um, episode what I'm going to look at is actually practically trying to put together some uh, mock-ups for how the cover of the Bullet Catcher's Handbook may look. Um, and whilst I don't intend this to be a, a tutorial in the particular software I'm using, um, I will be showing you my fumbling attempts to use that software, so you may have to bear with me a little bit. But the point is here, not the, the technical method of doing what I'm doing, but the design choices that I'm making, because those are the same kind of choices that you may well have to make yourself in your own cover design program. So without further ado, let's get over to it. I'm using uh, this open source graphical uh, manipulation program called GIMP, G-I-M-P. It's free, it's a wonderful system. I uh, really, really like it and I thoroughly recommend it. Um, there are many wonderful tutorials for this and also, of course, for Photoshop, which you can use um, if you have that and if that's what you're used to driving. But I'm going to be using this one. Uh, it's what I'm kind of used to. But I must say that what I'm doing here is kind of at the edge of my knowledge, so I'm maybe fumbling around a little bit, and I will certainly make some mistakes. So here we go. The first thing is to see we've got a piece of gold foil texture in our list of layers here. You can see it, and I'm going to make a duplicate of it. So we have two of these images lying right on top of each other. And then I am going to do a piece of lettering, because that's what this is all about. I want to get that gold leaf lettering. Uh, so I'm going to choose the lettering, I'm going to choose an area of that um, image, I'm going to choose the font, I am Fell English, which is the font I'm using inside the book, just bump the size up a little bit of the lettering, and I'm going to want, I'm going to need this in fact to be in black, and so now I can write the title, the bullet catches handbook. So our title, I'm going to just do a little bit of rough centering, not terribly precise. Uh, this is a mock-up. I'm not really that concerned at this stage to get it exactly right. I'm just proving the concept for myself. So I, I need to be able to select this lettering in the future, so I'm just going to um, do this thing alpha to selection, which just gives me a little uh, cutout so I can cut those letters out when I need to. I am now going to merge down the top layer, the, the, the text layer, sorry, into the top layer of, of gold foil, so I now have two pieces of gold foil, one on top of each other, and the top one has the lettering, and if I hide that you'll see the bottom one does not have the lettering. So what I can now do is subtract one image from the other, and that will give us just the gold foil. It's as simple as that. I now need to merge down again, so I have just the one layer, and it's only got the gold foil lettering and the uh, a, a, a black background, but I also have already got this thing ready to select, so I can in fact then edit, cut, and that should just cut out the, the gold lettering, which is all I need. So that's now the title in gold leaf lettering is now sitting in my paste buffer, and I can close down this um, uh, th this file and I can open up the next one. So I'm going to close that one down. I don't want to keep any of my changes. And here is the next image I'm using. And this is a uh, public domain image which I've cropped down. It's the image of a very old leather book. And I want to put my gold lettering onto this. So now I'm just going to simply edit and uh, and paste, and there appears the gold lettering on the on the cover. It's not where I want it to be, though. I'm going to put this. I'm going to I'm going to 
skew it and change the size a little bit. So I'm going to um, tools, transform tools and scale. So I can should now be able to stretch it and grab it and do what I want with it and uh, find the place where I want it to be. Um, and I think I want it to be roughly here. Again, I'm not too worried about the precise detail. If, I, if the lettering was true to the font, it's probably more like that, but I'm going to just elongate it slightly to make it a, a shade taller than it would naturally be. And I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, so that's, that's what we have there. Um, and I can now just let that lie onto, onto the cover image. So if we zoom in now, I'm going to zoom in a bit just to have a closer look at that. You can see that, OK, it's got a certain amount of gold leaf texture, but it doesn't really look as if it belongs on the book. It looks like it's been um, it just sort of superimposed one image on top of the other. And that's because the, the cover underneath has all kinds of scratches and marks in it. And those scratches and marks are not interfering with the lettering at all, which they should be. So I'm going to zoom out again. Um, so what I want to do is impose the texture of the book on that lettering. And in order to do this, what I have done is generate another version of the cover. And I've done a couple of things to it. I've taken out all the um, all, all the, the colour from it, as you'll see. And I've also dropped a picture onto it. What is that picture? It is a picture of uh, a jewel. This is another open source uh, image. I'll show you the original um, image. There it is, this jewel. And I have slightly rotated it and I've just dropped it on top of my picture of the cover and I've everything's rendered into black and white. And you will see why in just a moment. So I'm going to hide that layer. What I'm going to do though is take, use this layer and the texture of that layer and put it onto my book cover. And we do this in the following way. Uh, we can do filters, map, bump map. And I'm going to choose that layer as the, um, as the layer which gives us our bumps. And I'm just going to increase the depth of it slightly to increase the texture. Now, immediately what you see is I've got that embossed jewel image which now feels like it's sort of been stamped into the leather. But the other thing that's happened, if I zoom in, you will see the, the lettering, this gold leaf lettering, has now taken on the texture of the book. And it feels very much more as if it's just uh, sitting there on top of the leather as it's been actually printed on the leather rather than hovering above it. So I can zoom out again a little bit. So now it's not quite right. There are things off with this. The, the positioning is not quite true and there are a number of things that are happening that I don't quite like. But in terms of something that is a proof of concept, I am getting quite pleased with it. Um, I can uh, take, maybe if I think that lettering looks a little bit fresh, what I can do is add uh, another, the same image again, and I can just reduce its, make it more or less transparent. Um, hopefully this will work. Uh, it's at the moment, for some reason, not working. Um, I don't quite understand that. Oh, I know why, because I've just removed the transparency, re removed the opacity of the wrong layer. 
let's just change that now and do it again we should see it I can take out that overlay and it just just give a slight feeling of the of the leather color so now if we look in closely um, at the text you can see that it's it's slightly taking on the color of the of the book the original book cover so it again looks a bit even more as if it's this distressed lettering sitting there simple as that this is um, uh, just a mock-up so I'm not not completely uh, set on this yet um, but I feel as if there is something here that's that's going to work somehow I know in the design if I'm going to do this I might actually flip this book vertically to take this little piece of brass down to the bottom and this corner piece of brass up to the top and that will give me a bit more room to put my title in because this bit of brass is getting in the way at the moment. Um, and I might also look at having something, some a little bit more lettering down here of some kind to make a balance between the top and the bottom. But broadly speaking, that is feeling like the kind of thing that I want to do. And... Uh, that's that's it for this this episode uh let me move back so i can speak to you directly um yeah you can see the process you can see the kinds of questions that i'm asking and the the kind of end product that i'm aiming for and so we with that proof of concept i feel we can move on from there uh kind of i have a bit of confidence in other words that i've got the kind of thing that i'm looking for